Hey everybody, Matthew with Tactical Comms here. This weekend I had the opportunity to spend some time with several medical professionals teaching them how to use field expedient antennas. One of the questions that came up was how to make sure our coax is good. Hang around and I'll show you how to test those. Alright, so in my previous videos, if you've watched my YouTube channel, I've showed you how to build coax out of RG58 or more or less should, told you where to go buy your coax uh, for RG58 and I've shown you the different connectors that you need depending on what you uh, d depending on your application. Today I want to show you how to test that coax to make sure it's good. Remember just because you've bought your coax, you've tried it out, doesn't mean something has happened. You have to take great care with coax to make sure that when you're using it in the field that you've not kinked it, you've not pinched it, you want to make sure that it stays as straight with as wide of bends as possible so that you don't damage the center conductor of the coax. And one of the easiest ways to test that coax to make sure that it's good is to use a digital multimeter. Now this is this may be 20 bucks. Uh, it's nothing fancy, uh, nothing that requires extensive training how to use. But we're going to check the coax for continuity and we're going to do this by first checking the center pin of each connector with the other center pin. The center pin should have continuity, meaning that it should be connected from center pin to center pin. What you should not see is continuity between the center pin and the outer shield. What is continuity? Continuity essentially means it's connected. If you take a piece of coax and you test the center braid to the other end of the coax to the center braid, it should have continuity or should be connected all the way through it should not contact the outer braid. Now, one thing that I must qualify, or I got a preface, when you're testing your coax, make sure it's not connected to an antenna or your radio. You can get a false sense of, uh, you can get a false reading, but more importantly, you can damage your equipment. We don't want to do that. So we're going to make sure that our coax is disconnected on both ends. And then we're going to test it center pin to center pin, and then outer shield to outer shield. The center pin is simply the center pin inside the radio, and I'll show you a close-up in a second, and the outer shield is the outer edge of it. Those two should not be connected. Now, as I said before, when we're testing our coax, we're going to test the center pin to center pin, and then we're going to test the outer shield to the outer shield. The outer shield should not be con conductive or should not have continuity between the outer shield and the center pin. The way we're going to do that is we're going to use a cheap multimeter, multimeter. And we're going to turn our dial so that it is checking for continuity or in this case it actually has an alert tone to let me know that there's continuity or the circuits are connected. To test to make sure our meter is working properly we're going to select it to the tone and then we're going to touch the two leads together to make sure that we hear the tone. We hear the tone so we know the meter is working properly. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center conductor and all you have to do is just touch, be careful that you don't damage the center pin. Touch one lead to the center pin and then touch the other lead to the outer shield. Now we don't hear tone, that's good. That means that there's no short in the coax. But we're not done yet. We want to also make sure that we have continuity from one center pin all the way to the other end of our coax to that center pin and we should hear tone when we touch the center pin and we hear tone that means that the center conductor of our coax is connected all the way from end to end now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to touch our center brace our, our outer shield to our outer shield and we have tone that is good again we don't have a short in our coax and it makes, means that everything's good I just for kicks and giggles I'm going to touch the center pin again no tone that is good you should do this on every coax that you have. Even if you haven't used it, you always want to make sure that your coax is good. Avoid sharp bends in your coax and avoid twisting it when you're rolling it up or deploying it.